Okay. Today we will look at a live tournament game I played a while ago. It's 169 lakes and uh, an imperious mirror match. I am the blue imperious here and my opponent is the green imperious. Uh, technically this is a glory game so um, first to reach 10,000 points wins but um, in the end uh, we just try to kill each other like in a normal might game anyways so for the gameplay itself at first we you know expand a little bit uh, try to find villages and upgrade them with fruits of course because it's our starting tech and then also with animals and lumber huts because there's just a lot of forest around here so it just makes sense to use it for further upgrades um, me right now only uses um, fruits. I don't think I have taken other tech to upgrade yet, but I'll also go for lumber shortly. Actually, let's take a quick look on the techs. My opponent has a forestry organization and now also fishing and that's all the tech he has he takes an explorer to get vision on my territory which makes sense because you always want to know what your opponent does if you look at us we went for roads which allows us faster expansion as well as uh, giving us still upgrades for our cities and we went for climbing uh, which we for one can kind of use to get easier vision and for the other to um, have better maneuverability and also we can use our mines here um, right now I also took fishing so um, it uh, just kind of seemed useful to upgrade my cities. Here we can also see the opponent took climbing. And now we can see all the mines he has. And he has like really a lot of mines. So that gives him a high uh, giant potential. Usually you see this amount of mines only in Xingxi or a tribe like that. I also want to mention we went into combat now and I sieged a city for one of course because I hoped maybe it could hold and for the other uh, because uh, it uh, costs him income if a city is sieged. I also went onto this mountain here to get uh, some vision on his territory because I didn't take an explorer to his territory because I didn't know that his territory would be there at the time. And also, as you can see, I'm moving down here a little bit to uh, territory that's a little bit farther away to find more villages and get more income. That's by the way also one of the reasons why I took climbing to get past this mountain here. But uh, let's continue watching the game. Of course my opponent uh, easily unseaches. And he also uses his mines now to upgrade his cities. Um, 
He doesn't have a giant yet, but still uh, he has gotten resources and money from that. I actually get a, a giant first here through uh, lumber huts. So I have my giant, my first giant before my opponent has his first giant, and I obviously try to bring it to my opponent to attack him with it and hopefully take a city. Um, I don't know if you could probably see that. I um, took a second giant right here. It was kind of covered over, but I made a second giant to have a strong attack. I mean, one giant is strong to attack. Two giants are obviously better. Now, opponent also has its first giant and it's, he's making immediately two giants and at the front city where they are very close to my territory. And that scared me a little bit, so I tried to weaken his giants with my riders as much as possible so uh, he can't attack me so good with it. And I rolled my giant onto the mountain so it gets mountain defense bonus and can for one defend me a little bit and to, for the other maybe attack my opponent. I take an explorer down here which allows me to see the positions of all the villages and ruins that are in the back here. And I also see that my opponent is here. So I can use that to try to get the cities before my opponent does and see exactly how far he is. And it even went a little bit into his territory, which is obviously nice for me because uh, there's always an information game in this. Uh, my opponent uh, makes even more giants with all of his uh, mines. He's uh, trying to giant rush me here, which is a pretty strong attack. I um, try to kill his giants, which obviously, and um, establish the land down here to hopefully uh, defeat him in an eco game by having more cities. Um, he hits my giant quite brutal with all his riders and manages to kill my rider, which is of course a big sad for me. I uh, hit his rider with pretty much everything I've got again, and uh, yeah, and I bought a defender here. So um, he has it more difficult to siege my city, even though he has a giant directly in front of it. And also I have my own giant behind my city so that in an emergency I can hopefully unseat with that. Here my opponent um, went onto the village and is furthermore upgrading for even more giants with all his mines. Um, yeah, first of all I'm weakening his giant again, but also I prepared my rider and my swordsman to kill his unit on the village so he doesn't get it and also immediately rebounds on the ruin and to get it also as fast as possible. My opponent um, attacks my shield and breaks through with all of his units, he has enough for that. But as I had prepared, uh, my giant can unseach this. Now of course, um, there are two giants in front of my giant now, so that's pretty bad still. And, um, you know, um, 
I just got in at Diorchi for a little bit. Our giant was able to hold out the attack, partly because um, yeah, this giant was already so weakened, but now it's only at 8 HP and also our opponent got catapults, which uh, can be quite deadly. So in response to that, for one, I'm yeah, of course trying to get uh, my cities back here upgraded and kill his giants. So uh, he has less strong units. And again, we can weaken his giant. And I'm buying chivalry here, here. So I have a knight. And the idea behind that mainly is that hopefully my opponent gets a weak link to his catapult and I can get rid of his catapult because I obviously don't like that the catapult uh, can kill every unit in my city now. My opponent got sailing as well, which is far ahead. I'm weakening the giant so I can kill it with a knight and then move out the knight to kill the other unit and then suicide. Uh, because I don't want the knight to stand in the city, I want to have the defender there so my opponent has a harder time to kill it but of course it's giant and catapult. Yeah, he still sieges easily and now he's also getting ports, which is quite dangerous because uh, naval control is quite strong here. And here I have a little trick. As you can see, I covered every place around the city with units and then I bought farms to upgrade for a giant myself. Now you wonder what happens if a giant gets made here and the giant that's on top of it has nowhere to go. And the answer is it uh, simply disappears. So I basically just killed his giants without having to hit it with units and that's uh, that can be a pretty strong technique to get uh, rid of giants or other strong units sieging your city without having to uh, actually kill it with units which could uh, kill your own units through the counter damage. Then I obviously use the rider I placed down to we can listen giants a little bit but uh, of course uh, he has enough units around to still kill my giant and siege me yet again and sadly I can't stop it now so I am uh, at least trying to upgrade and protect my other cities because this city is clearly lost. I can't do anything about that anymore. And I'm making a defender here because I see this boat and I don't want it to siege. And if I made a warrior, he just kill it with a catapult. And uh, that would of course be very bad for me. I upgrade the other cities again because uh, might as well bring the other cities I have up as much as I can and I try to bring my cities back to this territory around here so I can maybe attack him from the other side a bit and distract him a little bit this way. But uh, my opponent gets the battleship and manages to siege my city anyways even though I trained a defender there. And uh, obviously he takes this city, which I already said I had lost and no way of recovering anymore. I uh, try to defend myself as good as I can with riders, but I 
honestly can't do much. I can't even unseat the city with only a defender in it. And uh, it's honestly, uh, it looks pretty desperate for me. Now even this city gets uh, sieged on the other side and at this point um, I give up. Uh, my opponent has won here. A giant rush was simply too strong and I couldn't hold it back. But it, it was still a good and a fun game. And, you know, it also shows just how strong a giant rush can be and how good uh, the right resources with which this insane mindset up here actually can be and i hope you enjoyed the game as well and uh, had fun watching it so um, goodbye